And today we have Sarah from Sarnia giving us some insights into the market. So to give you, Ed, and anyone who maybe hasn't watched just kind of a quick snapshot of what Sarnia is, where most of the investors that are even watching this channel have probably invested in or know of more is the South End. So that little purple bit where I've highlighted, the South End has been very attractive because of the price point and a lot of the homes in that area in the last five years, I would say, are, are very, you know, worn down. Uh, homes are still taking around 23 days to sell. Um, homes are selling for 96% of their asking price locally, which is showing that homes are still selling. You know, some people seem to think that there's bottom dollar prices out there, but that is not what we're seeing. YouTube. Welcome back to the Canadian Real Estate Channel. My name is Ed Hervius, a multifamily investor and longtime friend of the channel. And today we have Sarah from Sarnia giving us some insights into the market. Welcome back, Sarah. How are you? Good. Yeah. Happy, I guess, first day of spring we're at here. There we go. Market is moving. I guess that means officially the spring market can start. And yeah, Off nice to the races for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So looking forward to uh, learning more about Sarnia um, in this video. Uh, what can you tell us about what's going on right now? Yeah, so Sarnia is, I guess, uh, about an hour from London or three hours from Toronto. So it's on the border of uh, Michigan, uh, basically a border town. So it is a great area, if you haven't watched the channel already, to invest uh, specifically in the multifamily space. Um, as rents are quite good and vacancies are quite low. So um, there isn't a ton of multifamilies always available, uh, but especially with Bill 23 and things changing in the marketplace, there are more and more available. Um, rents are good, so cap rates are always high or they make sense, you know, even with the current interest rates. And um, yeah, it seems like a great time, especially to get started in the space uh, as, you know, I think we're seeing a lot in the market of the interest rates kind of hovering and maybe even dropping, hopefully in the near future. That's for sure. A lot of, I have a couple of variable mortgages out there. <laughs> yeah. You're like, okay, fix, come on, go down. I, it's I, time. I it's you. time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I did bring a presentation, so we'll pop that up. Excellent. Awesome. So yeah, so Sarnia Lambton is the area I cover as a realtor. Uh, if anyone wants to follow me, it's at she will sell it on Instagram or Facebook is the easiest way to reach out to me. Um, I do cover the whole region and there's definitely areas that might be appealing to Airbnb and cottages and things like that. Um, but for the sake of today, I generally just focus on Sarnia as that's the biggest kind of city hub where um, most of the rental market takes place. So to give you, Ed, and anyone who maybe hasn't watched, just kind of a quick snapshot of what Sarnia is. Uh, so the median up until February was around 454000 So that has came down quite a lot. I think about a year prior, it was around 540. So it shows like just like the interest rates, our median has come down. Um, and it shows a very, I mean, for most people that are from the city, it shows like a very uh, attractable median to get into the market at. Now, uh, homes are still taking around 23 days to sell. Um, homes are selling for 96% of their asking price locally, which is, I, I think, still really good, showing that homes are still selling. You know, some people seem to think that there's bottom dollar prices out there, but that is not what we're seeing. And then we are seeing, though, an increase of listings returning back to about 2017 level, but it does remain lower, lower than the historical long-term average. So in Sarnia here, I'd say, you know, especially in cities, how, you know, real estate appreciates. That didn't always happen in Sarnia for a very long time. So even the 80s, 90s, 
early 2000s, real estate definitely did get more expensive, but you didn't see year over year, um, you know, 10% appreciation and things like that. Um, so we did often have a large number of listings on where this has been changing, uh, especially since 2017, where, you know, in 2018, 2019, we started seeing multiple offers even before COVID. We saw the pricing really skyrocket in many senses um, because people were more willing to move to Sarnia as the city centers got more expensive like Toronto. Uh, Sarnia has quite a few jobs, quite a few industries, and then also for the rental aspects. Uh, average rent, I would still say, is around you know that 18 to $2,200 a month. So rental rates are really quite high. Um, and that's usually plus utilities, depending what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So people started to see how attractive Sarnia really was. And that's eighteen hundred for single fem, uh, single bedroom. Uh, not per bedroom. So if we're talking about the smallest units, let's say like a bachelor apartment, okay, uh, mm -hmm. like a basement <laughs> bachelor apartment. So something like that, you would probably see around maybe one thousand a month, eleven hundred for something smaller like that. Um, those are generally inclusive of utilities just because how they're set up. Right. But if we're talking like a two bedroom, let's say a two bedroom in a triplex or a two bedroom in a duplex, uh, you're probably looking at around 1800 to 2000, uh, plus utilities, depending on the size of it. Right. Okay. So, I mean, generally, um, often people still just need the space. So it could be in a townhouse or it could be in a triplex. And sometimes you see the rents are about the same just because of the low vacancy rates. Mm, so people mm -hmm. don't have a huge amount of options when it comes to um, rentals. Right. Now, in terms of the residential market activities, so this would include some multifamilies and things like that, um, just overall uh, 2023 in February, as, as I mentioned before, um, definitely more inventory in terms of what's coming new on the market. Um, so we saw about, I guess, 180 uh, new listings in the Sarnia Lambton area in 2023, February. So mm. compared to 2022, I guess a very big spike. And it also explains why the prices are lower as well. Buyers are definitely, even when it comes to like, uh, there was a triplex that was on the market and it had uh, about an eight and just over an 8% cap rate. And it still sat on the market for two weeks. Cause I feel at this point, people are still being very picky and it, it was nice. It was fully renovated, vacant, like very nice triplex. Um, but people are still being a little hesitant, right. which for the real investors out there, I guess is kind of a bonus right now if they are able to swoop in and grab those deals. Right. Activity, as we know, most areas is down. Uh, so sales activity is about the same as 2019. So we did see those elevated levels uh, during COVID as more and more people flocked to Sarnia uh, to get out of the hustle and bustle. Um, but we are seeing kind of that more balanced market. So I guess out of the 190 new homes that were listed, about 100 of them would have sold per se. So you guys also saw a spike in the... Um... Uh, GTA is move, moving out of, out of the city. Yeah, massively. Now, yeah. pros and cons, I mean, a lot of them have stayed, but you also see them where now that things have opened up, they want to move back, right? And things <laughs> open up, you know, and, and that happened before too, right? It happened before COVID where people would be like, you can buy a house for, you know, 100,000 in Sarnia, you know, like prior to COVID, I'm going. You know, and then it's like, well, this isn't quite the same as Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Different lifestyle for sure. Different lifestyle. Yes, we are growing. We are getting busier. But it is still a town of, uh, on average, I'd say about seventy to 80,000 people Sarnia would have. So obviously, it cannot have the same amenities or the same nightlife or anything like that, like, uh, you know, a GTA type city. By far, for sure. But it also makes it like it's, it's generally an older community or even, you know, a family community, which makes it good for the rental side of it. Right. Right. So, so that is nice. I mean, we do have a Lampton <laughs> college, which is a great college and it does have student rentals as well. Things like that you could rent out to, but I'd still say primarily it is not like London where, you know, it's a very college town. 
um, it is a, a primarily family-based community. Excellent. And then active listings uh, is really, we just still have lots of active listings. So uh, although they are selling, obviously not there are staying active longer. So back in 2022, even though there was lots of new listings, you know, they'd be sold the next day, um, which put the active listings uh, right down to, I think we were at a half a month's inventory at that time. Uh, whereas now we're sitting at about three months of inventory. So lots of active listings, uh, lots of opportunity definitely there as well. Um, I think this will make more sense. This will uh, be good for you as well. So this is a snapshot I like to show. If you've watched the channel before, you definitely would understand this graph. But this is Sarnia and kind of what it looks like if we zoomed in on the map. So as you see, it's surrounded by great lakes and rivers. So it's a great community, lots of beaches. It's called the Blue Coast. Um, it's really nice. People love to live near the water, beach, boating, things like that. So really uh, great in the summertime. Now, if we were the Point Edward Point there, that is just separated. That is a separate community. That is actually where the Blue Water Bridge goes through to get to Michigan. So at the point of that 402 would be the bridge to the U.S., so right on the other side of Sarnia, on the other side of that river is the USA. So border town, um, I don't mention Point Edward because the price points are usually too high to get into to make sense. Uh, people really like Point Edward, the casinos there, there's lots of money pumped into that community. Um, if it makes sense, definitely we'll sell you something there, but often you're looking more into the other areas of Sarnia to buy a rental. Okay, okay. I was, uh, it looked a little gray on the picture. I thought it would be more industrial, but I guess that's where the um, more expensive homes, single family, larger single families are. Located. Yeah, and I wouldn't even say, to be honest, they aren't big homes. They're not like, oh. you know, Burlington Waterfront or anything like that. People just love the small town. It's like being in a small town within Sarnia. So it might be normal 60s or 70s bungalows, right? Or with some new builds. Um, but there's also apartment buildings there. So there's a few apartment buildings. So retired people love to go there to like live looking at the water. There's a really big park that's uh, very close to there called Canaterra. People love that. And then the casinos there, which pumps just a lot of money into the area. So it's just very clean and, and just a very nice small community. So even though the houses might not be super large, the price point of them is just a little bit higher to get into than the rest of Sarnia. So if you ever come down, drive through there, really nice community, but it, it's nothing like it's fancier. It's just a clean, good schools for kids like that. Just a really nice community. Excellent. Yeah, I'm definitely going this summer. I have to check out Sarnia. I've never been. <laughs> yeah, it's only three, like three-ish hours from you. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. great. It's great, especially if you, you uh, I think there's a few, a lot of Toronto people used to come for something called Bay Fest that was in, it was a music concert, but now they have Border Fest, I think. And it, okay. it's like, so they have big outdoor concerts and stuff and compared to Toronto prices, they're very reasonable. <laughs> right on, right on. So something to check out for anyone watching, it's a good kind of dual purpose. You can check out the community, see the locals and, and kind of uh, experience some music as well. So yeah, there, there's lots of stuff to do and check out while you're here. Now, in terms of investments, where most of the investors that are even watching this channel have probably invested in or know of more is the South End. So that little purple bit where I've highlighted, the South End has been very attractive because of the price point. And a lot of the homes in that area in the last five years, I would say, are, are very, you know, worn down. Like they're, they're in need of some love, some renovations. Um, it was generally a lower end of Sarnia. Uh, so this was an end that investors, especially out of town that didn't know the area flocked to because of the price. Mm. So we have seen, especially since COVID, a big revitalization of this area, uh, where even locals are now buying in that area as first time home buyers, because that's what they can afford. Right. But it's become right. nicer with the renovations and the flip homes and everything like that as well. That's a good opportunity for, for the local community as well. That's excellent. It, it has been really great. And I've noticed a huge difference even with selling homes on those streets. <clears throat> like people would be like, well, it's south. Is it good? I mean, and it's yes, it's safe compared to even probably a good area of Toronto. Like very right. safe. But just, you know, kind of worn down. People, you know, 
Um, now in this area though, this area definitely got a little wild last year where you saw homes, you know, there was the odd home renovated sell, you know, upwards close to that, you know, half a million mark. And you're like, wow, that's getting a little crazy for that area. So we've really saw the pullback in this area with the change in interest rates. So last year, the average in February was about 393,000. Whereas this year, February, it was 290,000. So a 26% um, decline. Um, I mean, it, it is pretty large. I, I would say the homes that are selling there too, there's a lot of homes just sitting on the market in that area. And, and why I believe this is, is because with the change in interest rates, people are now able to afford homes in central Sarnia for similar prices of what people are asking in South. So they're moving to those other neighborhoods versus looking at the south end first. I see. I see. So still opportunities there, especially for duplexes and multis. Uh, the biggest thing in this area as an investor, I'd say, is make sure the numbers make sense. Um, I mean, flipping is hard anywhere right now because it's really hard to gauge. Um, but if you're going to be buying in the south end, it, it, I think unless you're getting like a killer deal, uh, a multi-family space just makes more sense for rental. Right on. Now, uh, Sherwood, Cardiff, which you also see there in the green, uh, this is a great area. Oftentimes, this is where students live for rentals because the Lambton College is just to the right of that area. So students love this area. Also, first-time homebuyers and people with families love this area. It is a really big mix in this area of townhomes, like condos, townhomes, and uh, single-family homes or semis. So sometimes these numbers don't always make sense uh, in terms of the appreciation because it's Sarnia and our numbers are so small, you know, if we don't have a lot of sales and some more months are townhouses and some are semi-detached, this is usually the area where our numbers get the most off in terms of appreciation because uh, you can't always, you know, deduct and figure it out when you have such a small base. Um, but this past month, it was about negative 7%, which, uh, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, the area is still a great area. Um, and, and it's somewhere that uh, I would definitely recommend looking, especially if you're looking at condos or townhouses. Uh, right now, they're sitting just around 300000 a bit over, I guess, uh, for a nice townhouse in that area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, North End Sarnia, so where you see, that would be your bigger homes that you're talking about, you know, beautiful, some mansions, you know, along the water. This is where, you know, most people that live in Sarnia want to live because this would be the best school districts. Hmm. So best school districts, you know, fancier grocery stores, um, you know, uh, just basically nice parks close to the 402. This would be kind of where you'd like to live. Uh, for that reason, it is less of an investor's area because obviously you would deem higher rent, but it's not as readily available, right? So to find tenants might not be as available as finding a tenant for a duplex in central Sarnia. Right. So the price point is higher as well, which uh, avoids a lot of people of that area for investments. Um, but it, there definitely are some nice multis there as well, if they make sense. Mm -hmm. So it's went down about 20% uh, with the average price being around 455,000. Um, and that I would say is correct as well for what we're seeing month over month. So, okay. And then the last area is central Sarnia. So obviously there's a few areas in this area, but we like to put it together. So in this area, you'll have the downtown core. So your nightlife, I mean, we don't have a lot of nightlife, but you know, bars, breweries we do have quite a few breweries things like that there's also the hospital in there so people like to live near the hospital if the, you know they're working there or have uh, tenants and then you'll have like the malls and things like that all running through that central area now I like to remind people that to get from the south end to the north end takes 10 minutes there's no traffic <laughs> so anywhere here there's no traffic there's no traffic jams it's again a small Town. So as long okay. as you don't hit every single light, you, it should be about 10 minutes from one end to the other. Okay, so there's not much more zooming in you can do. 
No, not much. No, there isn't. I mean, and that's good and bad. But I, I did live in Toronto for a while, and and you know, going ten kilometers in an hour and a half was not enjoyable. When yeah. you know, you're used to, you're used to Sarnia. So excellent, excellent. That okay. that's nice. Um, yeah, Central went down down about fourteen percent. There's lots of opportunity in Central Sarnia for multi So this would be the areas that you're you're looking at. Um, there's better areas, there's worse areas. My biggest suggestion, especially in this market and what I've seen uh, other investors go through is know the area, come to the area and, and work with someone who's, who knows the area. Um, and uh, Sarah, when you mentioned, um, when you mentioned multifamilies, are you referring to duplexes is to six or six and above? Like what, what do you see on average, uh, a larger multifamily above six? There. So honestly, they don't really come up that often in Sarnia. I would say like a few a year. I, I think I um, mean another agent might have one coming up that's around nine units. Um, okay. But honestly, that's rare to come up. And okay. if they do come up, like I know there was one that was 14 units that came up about six months ago. But often what we're finding, the numbers don't make sense. So. Right. They want this high number because it's in the multifamily space, but the cap rate is way too low and half the tenants aren't paying to make it make sense. Yeah. Now, now the average here that you're going to see most often at is probably a duplex or a triplex. That would be okay. what you're seeing if we logged on to MLS, off-market deals is duplexes and triplexes is the most common. Um, okay. fours and fives, not really like anything above triplex, you're going to see a few a year, but you better ju jump on them or know who owns them. Right. Okay. Cause they just don't come up. Um, I mean, we just got in the last year and the, and these are big, but you know, like two apartment buildings were built. Right. And th that hasn't happened in, I'd say probably over well over a decade since the last apartment building was built and we definitely right. need it. It just hasn't happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel you. So, I mean, and, and then hopefully that does help with the rental crisis in terms of finding units, right. And not paying these very high amounts of rent just because of a lack of housing right. in, in Sarnia, like as a resident, most people could always afford to buy a house. So buying, you know, like an apartment built, building like a unit to own and stuff is is unheard of for locals in Sarnia for the most part mm -hmm. and with uh with all these um uh different regions and I know it's not the biggest town yeah. but with the people who approach you would you be able to help them uh connect with a mortgage broker or a local insurance company or a property management company does do your services offer that all that yeah, for sure. Uh, we definitely have a, a few property managements. Now that that's another area that um, could be better. It is getting better. But you know, with so many people up until the last few years, were just local and owned, a, you know, owned one that they didn't need those services. But there are a few I definitely could recommend uh, insurance, everything like that. Yeah, there's local teams. I mean, there's great mortgage brokers that are either local or in the investor space, we could recommend. They definitely do exist and they can help you in those odd financing scenarios if need be. Right on. Perfect. Yeah. So I think that's, that is all I got for you. Do you have any questions for me? It's a quick one this month, Ed. Oh, this has been very educational. You know, I've, um, I, like I said, I haven't really ever looked into Sarnia, but I, I do see a lot of potential, especially with um, uh, the South end there, uh, there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of areas for investors, external investors or local investors to go in and, uh, revitalize, uh, add some value force, force appreciation and, uh, uh, either end up with a house themselves so they can house hack or, or rent it out. So, uh, very interesting. Very, thank you very much for all of all, all that education. I'm definitely going to Sarnia this, this summer. I'm going to, I have to check it out and, um, um, yeah, I'm going to bring my kids along for sure. I like it. Hit, hit me up and I'll let you know. Tell me what they like and uh, we can coordinate some things that you guys could do. <laughs> I appreciate it. Actually, after this, I will message you about that Nineplex you have as your uh, pocket listing there. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, talk. thank you very much for everything, okay? You're welcome. Have a great night. Take care. Bye, guys.